Good morning. That's right, you are seeing me. This is the start of the vlog. I have been contemplating starting vlogs again. I mean, for a very long time, but something today. I woke up and I said, you know what? It's time to pick up the camera. It's time to start a vlog. This might be the only week. This might be the only time it happens, but you know what? It's happening, guys. I'm back for the week, at least. I have so much that has been going on in my life since the last time I picked up a camera. So much has happened. If you've been checking up or keeping up with my Instagram, if you've been keeping up with my Instagram, you have seen all of the stuff that's been happening. You've seen that I spent the summer in New York and all of the crazy, ex exciting things that have been happening, things that I can't even talk about just yet because I still have to announce them. And you know, and you might be noticing a little bit of a color change back here, which I will be showing you later on in this video, but I'm back and I've probably decided to pick up the camera on one of the least exciting weeks of my life. I don't have anything amazing planned this week. Actually, that's not true. I have to buy tickets to go see a show on Wednesday with my friends, um, but nothing crazy has been set in stone yet, but um, yeah, I'm back. Um, I'm just starting my morning, checking some emails, doing some things. I, I have not left my apartment in days. Like it's been days because I've just been setting up this new couch that I have and exhausting myself. And I have been trying to intentionally move every single day. And I moved to a point of just complete and total exhaustion. So today it's um, sunny outside. So I'm gonna finish just I have to, I have to apply, I have to do a couple things which I've been putting off for a week because I've just been super, super distracted. Um, it sounds so ominous. I don't know why it sounds so fucking ominous when it's just like not that, it's not that crazy of a thing. It's just not my situation to share. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to get, I'm, that's my goal. That's my literal only goal today is get outside and get some sunlight while it's absolutely there and vlog. That's it. So nice to see you guys again. I hope you're excited to see me again because I've missed vlogging and I've missed, I've missed what vlogging does for my life. All right. I got myself together for a little walk because I'm, pu I'm pushing myself out of the house today. So excited to get outside. I, like I said, it's been, I can't honestly, it's been days since I left my apartment for more than just like a five minute run to go get something from the convenience store. And I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm thinking either the cemetery or going to get a couple groceries. I need a new razor. Every time I shave my legs, I still have so much hair on my legs. But one thing I've been doing every time I leave my house, even if it's just for like 15 minutes to go pick something up, is I always like lightly clean up. So my bed, I made my bed and then I made, my kitchen look mostly nicer like I gotta go throw out some garbage and eventually deal with the sink the dishes in my sink but for the most part it's it's clean in here it feels welcoming because one of the things that I struggled with tremendously and in, in moving out on my own was feeling the desire to come back to my apartment which I know sounds strange right because this is my place this is where I should feel the most cozy but I never, I was finding it hard to feel cozy here. So I started just doing this thing where right before I left, I cleaned up even, like I said, even if it's just for a little bit and it's helped me want to, it's helped me enjoy being home a little bit more because I don't have to like constantly be like moving things around. And I don't know, I don't know if that, I don't know if anyone else does that, but I'm telling you right now, if you're somebody who struggles with feeling like a place feels like home, just taking those extra, 10 minutes before you go somewhere if you have them because i'm really bad at timing myself um taking those extra 10 minutes uh to just clean up before you go somewhere will seriously help you and you're just and you're that feeling of coming home because that feeling of coming home is part of how i feel at home if it's co cozy and comfortable then i want to be home so i'm gonna go out and i'll see you out there well, this is the fit i look like i'm in my pjs but that's okay I know that groceries are really expensive for everyone right now, but I will suggest if you live in a place like Toronto, going to these little like markets because they have giant avocados and really good produce for 
about the same price, if not a little cheaper, like two for five for these giant things. It's a really good price. So I'm just gonna get two of, maybe three of them for now, because I have avocado toast for breakfast every single day. And look how big these are. You could get an entire, well, you could get two of the very small ones for the same price. And then I'm just gonna get some other veggies. Trying to decide if I want to get some flowers. Because that was kind of what I wanted to do when I left my apartment today, so maybe. One. I'm still entirely undecided if I'm going to get a Christmas tree this year. The last two Christmas trees I've had had just not felt right in my spot. And this year I have like no space for it, but I also really can't go without at least decorating in some way. So I figure I might as well get a couple small little things for my apartment. Just make it feel like Christmas because I didn't I feel like I didn't do anything for Halloween, but maybe I'll get like a maybe I'll get like a tiny little Christmas tree while I'm at the dollar store. Oh this is so cute. Everything is pretty cute, but I don't know what I want. Maybe you know what I'm just gonna come in and look for a small little Christmas tree, even though it feels like a some I'm like boiling in this by the way. So that's all I'm gonna do. Small little Christmas tree, and I'm going back out in the sun, and then I'm going home for the night because the sun's only out for like another hour and a half. Okay, these are cute. This is actually so cute. Oh, I love the gold ones at the back. Oh, these are really cute. Ooh, this is almost exactly what I was kind of envisioning. Maybe decorate that one a little bit. I just found these little Christmas trees. They might work. Actually, I had the white one last year. What do you think? I know you can't tell me in real time. And maybe I'll think about it. No, I shouldn't. Every year I think about it, it's always gone by the time I come back. I might just get it. I was thinking I might get this one, but look. How flimsy that is. These are really pretty. Actually, this could look nice as like a centerpiece somewhere. That's really cute. Oh, oh god, I have glitter. <laughs> Literally everywhere now. So, uh, might just go for the one that I went for last year and decorate. <laughs> it's all in my lungs. Oh god. It's okay. I survived. Um, <laughs> that's aggressive. Maybe that's a sign. That's a sign from the universe not to get it. Okay, excuse the terrible angle, but I did come here with an agenda. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give myself a little bit more room. I did come here with an agenda, and that was to find envelopes. Do the dollar store, does the dollar store not have them anymore? I'm in the stationery aisle, and there's no envelopes. <laughs> a friend of mine uh, and I have decided to be pen pals, and he already sent me mine, so I'm gonna send him his, and I want to like I want to get like a bigger envelope so I can put a couple things in there like some stickers and stuff. But does the dollar store not have envelopes? I'm not seeing like I'm not seeing anything. Am I in the wrong aisle? I found them um, lots of different sizes too. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. That should be oh, that should be more than enough. Okay, I know I didn't do much, but I'm tired. Adequately tired because it's so much warmer than I thought it was gonna be outside. And this is too hot and I'm feeling, I'm so hungry, but I made a pact with myself that if I was gonna go out when hungry, I wouldn't eat because I have so much leftover food in the fridge that it would just be like a waste. And one of the reasons why I bought what I bought yesterday was because I was like, I'll have stuff for lunch tomorrow. Let me take this off, give me a second. That's better. So I didn't really get anything super crazy. I'll show you what I did get. I have been on my apple cider game lately. I used to love apple juice and apple cider when I was younger, but then 
For some reason, I decided I was gonna stop drinking it, probably because it's just so sweet, but I don't care. I don't care. It gives me happiness, and that's all I need right now. And then I've been trying to stay away from uh, caffeine at the end of the night, so the store that I went to had like absurdly cheap cans of pop, 99 cents. Whereas the place that's by my house is like 210 for one. So I just got the only two non-caffeinated ones that they had. I had this the other day and I realized this is this was the shit when I was younger. I mean this one too, but something about when you popped out a crush, a grape crush. It was a good day. That was a treat. And then nothing crazy over here either. I just got some mushrooms. I got more black pepper because I've been out and more of my favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite salt. Um, two fifty from Dollarama. Very, very good. Love that salt. I also picked up some strawberries. This was three ninety nine, I believe, which is a pretty good price for strawberries. And then, as you guys saw, avocados. That's really all I got. And then I also got a prescription for myself. Um, so I probably, I probably spent closer to sixty bucks, even though I didn't want to spend anything but you know what when you live in a big city and you live in a neighborhood I mean, my neighborhood's better for this stuff but you live in a big neighborhood or in a big city neighborhood where there aren't really many walking paths to go down you end up spending you end up spending something just to be outside and I'm trying to counteract that that's why I was kind of considering going to the cemetery but it's a little bit too late in the day like if I'm going to be there I want to be there for like you know a decent chunk of time and it's just a little bit too 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 late in the day to do that so i'm gonna honestly i'm gonna zone out for a bit oh here we go here are my leftovers i got chinese last night and some dumplings oh i saw see i have so many left if i had if i had ordered something i would have been so upset with myself um i'm gonna eat that and just probably check out emails until sundown and then officially be done for the night um anyways i'll see you in a bit if i decide to check it again tonight which i might not because to be honest this is kind of it for the rest of the night hold on you know what i just realized where the hell where the hell where did i put the envelope i bought that envelope I don't know where the envelope went. Wow. All right, cool. I gotta go back and get another envelope now. So I was gonna do that tonight, but never mind. Okay, I have realized I haven't really vlogged in the last couple of days, but I'm off to go to a Christmas trivia night with some friends. I did not wanna go. I actually maybe might be coming down with something. I'm not really sure, or I'm just, extra bloated because of all the dairy I've had the last couple of days. So I'm gonna head out now, got my keys. We're gonna go play some Christmas movie trivia. I don't know how good I am at it, but this is the outfit. Oh my God, my Uber will be here in just a second. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> show of hands, who here has been to a Hemingway's trivia before? Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Okay, now raise your hand if you have won a trivia. If you've come and talked with the court case, that is Miracle of 34th Street. Yes, we got that. That one was Question number nine, according to the World Wide Box Office, what I'm going to do is I am going to read the top four. So four and third, you will get the point, but our second and first, you will. Okay. So in fourth place, according to the World Wide Box Office, is Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Ah. 2002, that was about 345 million. So that was number four. Then in third place is Home Alone 2 uh, with 360 million. And in second place, so this will be an accepted answer, is the classic Home Alone. Yes! 
Okay. But, yeah, no, and third place was Home Alone 2. You guys missed the two because you were busy going, oh. <laughs> so accepted answers, Home Alone. That was, so was 1990, and that was about 476 million. And in first place, which I totally disagree with, which is why I said top two, we have 2018's The Grinch. This is what I look like after getting caught in the snow. <sighs> but it was a fun night. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I just woke up. Oh, my body is a mess. And it's been snowing all night. I didn't follow up again last night, but after we finished the trivia night, which we didn't, we didn't even place, which I think is ridiculous because I think we did pretty well. Um, <clears throat> it started snowing, but it wasn't like a lot. It was like kind of blizzardy, but it wasn't like a crazy amount. So um, yeah, it's really nice to wake up this morning and see lots and lots and lots of snow because that's what I want. I don't, oh my God, I look like Dobby right now. It just really does look like Dobby. Um, yeah, I don't think I've had snow this close to Christmas in a couple of years. Let me go show you in just a second. It's still coming down. Oh my god, my face looks ridiculous. Let me show you. See? It's hard to tell, but it's still coming down. Hold up for just a second. Makes me so happy. <laughs> oh god, it's cold up here. I'm literally in my oop, my little itty bitty nightgown. <laughs> I always joke that I have daytime PJs and nighttime PJs, so I'm about to get out of these daytime or nighttime PJs. It's my daytime PJs. But today I have to finish some work. I'm probably gonna start wrapping up this vlog in like a couple of days. Um, and then I'll probably do just like a Christmas day vlog. This has been very sporadic. Like I don't even know what I have here. Um, it's really not even like a continuous day. I just want to show you guys kind of what I'm doing for the Christmas holiday season and things I forgot to vlog or my family Christmas party, which would have been a good thing to vlog. Um, and I don't know what else, <laughs> nothing else really planned this week. And then on Christmas Eve, I'm going to my aunt's house. And then on Christmas day, my brother and my, so my mom are coming over, which I'm really excited about because they've never, they've never come over for Christmas before. Like they've never celebrated Christmas with my actual family, like my immediate family, not my extended family. Um, so that'll be really, really nice. But I am going to start sort of getting ready. Actually, I'm going to like lay in bed for like another half an hour, probably go pee in a second. I got to go pee. Um, and then also deal with this fucking thing, right? A lot. I have a lot of stuff I need to put away.
Um, haven't eaten yet, but I really, really, really should start my makeup pretty soon. I think if I get that out of the way this morning, then I'll be more likely to do my work before it's too late. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I can get it edited and done. Oh my god, my eyes look so red. That's weird. Um, but I'm just like, there's not really much to do on my computer right now except like kind of like scrolling. Like most of my emails haven't come in yet because it's still kind of early. It's only like 9 a.m. So I'm thinking I might start my makeup in a bit here. The sun's come out too. So I do want to like get all my work done so that I can go outside <laughs> during the day. A weird concept, right? And maybe walk to... Um, the mall and get a couple things just like a couple like very very small things because your girl's walk working on a an extremely limited budget like extra oh you know i have to actually write someone back about something i'm working on an extremely limited budget so <laughs> i don't want to overdo it in any way but i just want to get something nice for my mom and my brother when they get here um on monday so yeah i'm gonna try to do that in a second so tired. I reached that point of my morning where my bed feels, or even just laying down, feels like a really good idea. Okay, I can finally talk to you about the thing that I have been wanting to talk to you for ages about. This is my new couch, the couch that I have been keeping secret from you guys for over a month because I really, really, really wanted to make sure that I was trying it out and giving you the best possible review because I know how hard it is to find a plus size couch these days. I know how hard it is to find something that's gonna make me feel exactly the way that I wanna feel. And thanks to Cozy, I finally found the couch of my dreams. Listen, I know some of you have been here for a while and you know that I have a thing for pink and I've always dreamed of a pink couch, but I kind of always felt like if I was gonna get a pink couch, I would end up having to spare the style that I wanted. There are very, very few pink couches out there that actually are well made. Somebody like me needing that extra depth, needing that extra support, kind of always just figured that it would be one of those things where I had to make some sort of compromise. I'm not at a point in my life anymore where I want to make compromises. I probably would have been on the hunt for a very, very long time if not for finding this cozy couch. But the one thing that really, really sold me on this couch was the depth this seat depth. I know, I know you're seeing how dainty and small I look at this couch right now. I am 5'8 and I am not a small girl. I'm like a size 20. I got a belly, I'm, I'm tall and on this couch, I don't feel those things. I do not feel those things at all. I also feel incredibly supported. It is soft but firm at the same time. Now I had my old couch for five years and one of the reasons I kept it was just because it's a, it's a lot to think about bringing in a new couch into a space that doesn't feel right. I know a lot of you have been around here for a while and you've seen my decor, you've seen the way that I've changed this space out and the one thing that kind of remained consistent was the couch and that wasn't because I wanted that couch. It's a, it's a lot of effort to get a new couch. It's a lot of effort to also completely change out such a big part of your decor for something that isn't actually going to be a better fit. And admittedly, when I first got this couch, I was a little bit nervous it was gonna be a little bit too big for the space, but I kind of feel like it makes my space feel better. The modular pieces are so neat, especially for somebody like me who gets a lot of anxiety changing things out um, and also a lot of anxiety having anything permanent so I can change it out. These are two corner pieces and I have two armless pieces here, but if I ever wanted just a long couch, I could move this, I could move the stuff at the end and have it completely long here and have two arm pieces on either side and just have one straight couch. But now I have a nice L shape, an actual proper L shape couch and these two, these two corners are my favorite. There's so many things about this couch. I don't wanna make this seem like an entire ad because even though this part of the video is sponsored, I really, really wanted to make sure that I was sitting down with this couch and giving you guys like a genuine, honest review. And each of these pieces holds up to 400 pounds. I believe I'm just under 300 and I have never felt like I was gonna break anything. Everything feels very good, feels very supportive, which is again, another thing that I wanna make sure I'm finding in a couch, especially as a plus size person. I know it's a little bit sappy and sentimental, but like having my space feel like my space, especially when you live in a condo like this, where it's very blank, it's very neutral. Like there's a lot that you could do, but also a lot that you can't do based off the layout and the size. Like finding a couch like this that just kind of 
pulled everything together, also helped create spaces, intentional spaces in my home. It has just changed, changed my relationship with my home. And also knowing that if I ever, which will probably never happen, get sick of the pink, I don't have to go and buy a whole new brand new couch. I think every couch should come like this, where you have the ability to just change as you go. You have the ability to change your mind because I am a pink couch person now, but who knows, in five years from now, in five months from now, I could be completely over it and want a completely different color. And I already have some copper couch covers ready to go. I'm very excited for those when and if that day comes if I decide I wanna go a little bit more neutral. This has truly been one of the best things that I ever did for my apartment. And everyone who comes in this apartment immediately notices it, immediately mentions how much nicer this is. And I can actually host parties in here now. This has truly been an absolute godsend. And I cannot thank you enough, Cozy, um, for sending me along this couch and sponsoring this part of the video. And if you are a plus size person or just somebody who's looking for a new couch, I highly, highly recommend Cozy. I honestly could not recommend it enough. Having the ability to not only get a comfortable, sturdy couch with depth, seat depth that I think we all dream about. I don't think I could ever go back to a couch that does anything different. Like this is, this is the way of the future for me. And when eventually I move into a newer place, bigger place, I'm gonna add another piece and make it bigger and make it feel bigger because right now this works for me, but I also know I don't have to buy a completely new couch when I go somewhere new and I have more space. So personally, that's why this couch is the couch for me. What do you guys think though? Would you ever get this couch? Because I am curious to know. Anyways, it is one and I still haven't eaten yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some ramen and then move to my next part of the day and the next thing I have to do. Um, and I will see you guys later. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit. Oh my God. What is on my hand? Oh, glitter. I'm just taking a little bit of a work break because I've just been pumping out as many videos, it's not gonna work. I've just been recording videos for the last like two hours and then I gotta edit within the day. Um, but I just thought I would show you my little outfit. I really wanna go out for a walk, but the last thing I need to record is sleepwear. And so I gotta get into my PJs and then get back into my real clothes. Just not that big of a deal, I understand, but I hate doing that. So once I'm in my PJs, I'm like, I'm like in it for night. But yeah, just thought I would show you. These tights are very, very nice, by the way. They're from, oh, you can see my clothing all over the floor. They're from Snag Tights. They're really, really cozy. Um, I'm going to do that really quick and then hopefully get out for the night. Um, or not get out for the night, go for a little bit of a walk and uh, clean my kitchen soon. When I have the chance. Oh my God, do I have lipstick all over my face? Okay, I'm done my work for the day. And I'm gonna be really honest with you, my phone is having trouble with storage right now. So I think I'm just gonna take whatever's left of this vlog and upload it um, to tomorrow-ish, whenever, um, because I just wanna get rid of this footage and start a new vlog. So I will see you guys next time. And I'm in my comfy PJs anyway, so this is a perfect time to transition out. See you guys in the next one.